Moira. It's right, tonight. If we do that tomorrow or the next day. No, tonight. Now. Charlie, not tonight. I'm tired. But tomorrow I got to operate. Yes, tomorrow you're operating, Doctor. But tonight we take care of Moira. Charlie, please, not tonight. We go to bed, eh? <coughs> Doc, you can see it's going to be done, can't you? Johnny, I can see. I know that look. I think this calls for something special. Perhaps the Melbourne method. No, no, not that. Two hours, and when it was all over. But the fellow in London was just as dead as the fellow in Melbourne. No, we had to work too fast in London. There was no aesthetic satisfaction in the doctor for the Melbourne method. There was something to remember. Remember? Oh, I wish I didn't. No, Chani, not Melbourne. Not yes, me. doctor. Get the instruments. I won't do it, Chani. I won't do it. Where are the instruments, doctor? I won't tell you. Oh, yes, you get them in the cellar. Where? I won't tell you, Chani. I'll find you, doctor. I have to relieve, I have to tell my cabinet to sign any proclamation. But this must be a secret proclamation. A secret proclamation? How? Japan must know about it. Japan! Don't tell the devil. Must be signed away! Right away! I will let my cabinet know later. Yes, let's go inside. Proclamation must be signed in secret. Oh, all right. But at once, Mr. President. Yes. I have to go get my signing clothes. But hurry, Mr. President.
Now, Doc, where are your manners? Yes, Margaret. I realize now it was you who brought me back to Portland. Doc, to my dear dad, sister. Two acts run a little bit long, but 
I don't see there's anything we can leave out. You can leave all of it out! You see, yeah, they are. 
Teddy signed the commitment papers, and I signed his next to kid. Where's he going? I have not yet. I don't care where he goes, as long as he goes. Oh, he's going all right. Now, I just want to let you know that everything that's been going on around here, well, Teddy's responsible for, about those 13 bodies. Yeah, yeah, those 13 bodies in the cellar. It ain't enough that he's going around scaring all the neighbors and disturbing the peace with that damn bugle. But can you imagine what would have happened if that cockeyed story about 13 bodies got around? And now he's also starting to yell a fever scare. Give it ain't it. 13 bodies. You think anybody would believe that story? I can't tell. Some people are just dumb enough. You don't know what to believe sometimes. About a year ago, a crazy guy up in Greenpoint starts a murder rumor. I have to dig up a half acre lot just to prove that. Lieutenant Rooney, I'm glad you're here, Super, because you're taking him back with you today. Today? I didn't know that. Not today. Oh, Elaine, oh, I'm going to run along home. I've got some business to take care of, and I'll call you up in a day or two. Not. I had no idea this was going to be immediate. The papers are all signed. He goes back with you today. Ah! Yes, 
I come along around this. <coughs> all right. Get them signed up. I want to get this all clear by morning. If you'll sign her. Thirteen bodies. And you, right here. When do you think you'll be ready to start?
moved back to Indiana, there's some people there who want to take care of him for the rest of his life. Come on. It's good to know you have some place to go. But we're leaving too. <laughs> we're going to Happy Town. Then this house has seen the last of the Brewsters. Well, unless Moira wants to live here. I have a suggestion. Why don't you give it to the church? We never thought of that. After all, it should be a part of the cemetery. All right. <laughs> Let's get going. I'm a busy man. Well, goodbye, aunties. <coughs> can't better my record any now, but at least neither can you. At least I have that satisfaction. The score stands even. 12 to 12. <laughs> <laughs>